add a key starter switch to a button box or a simulator, we can use a universal ignition starter switch. It has accessories, ignition, and momentary start positions. As an interface between the key starter and the PC, we can use a USB joystick encoder. We will use the wires and the USB cable that are provided with the encoder for the connections. To begin the wiring, take two sets of wires, cut off the four metal terminals and strip the ends of the wires. Join the two white wires and install a ring terminal to the ends of the wires using a crimping tool. On the two remaining blue wires, add ring terminals to each wire. The wiring will now have the two white wires joined and crimped to one ring terminal and this will become our common wire. The blue wires will be separate and with a crimped ring terminal on each end. On the back of the switch we can connect to the battery, the ignition and the start terminals. The fourth terminal is for the accessories and will not be needed in this example. For the wiring of the switch, remove the nut on the battery terminal and install the two connected white wires. Next remove the nut on the ignition terminal and install one of the blue wires. Then remove the nut on the start terminal and install the last blue wire. With all the wiring installed, carefully tighten the nuts with a spanner. Now we have the two white wires connected to the battery terminal as the common, one blue wire to the ignition terminal and one blue wire to the start terminal. Next plug in the connections from the key starter switch to the USB joystick encoder. Then plug in the USB cable connection. Plug the USB cable into a PC, then map and assign the functions in the games menu. The starter key can now be used in game to control the start and the stop of the engine. Another option to use instead of the key system is to use a momentary toggle switch or a momentary push start stop switch. This particular engine start stop switch has an LED light inside which can also be connected to be illuminated. At the back of the switch are the five wiring terminals. Either side are the LED positive and negative terminals and in the middle we have the normally closed, normally open and common terminals. We will connect the wires to the common and to the normally open terminals so the switch is only active when pushed. Prepare the provided cables by cutting off the metal connections and strip the ends of the wires with wire strippers. Place the blue wire onto the terminal marked common and solder together. Then place the white wire onto the terminal marked NO which stands for normally open and solder. On the USB encoder we have two free spots where we can connect power for the LED which is inside the switch. For the wiring of the LED, cut two lengths of wire, then strip the ends of the wires with a pair of wire strippers. Solder one black wire to the negative terminal on the switch, and then solder one red wire to the positive terminal on the switch. Now we will have the red and black power wires prepared for the LED, and the wires for the switch soldered in place. The next step is to solder the red and black wires for the LED to the power location on the USB encoder. By using solder wick, we can prepare and remove the old solder from the board. With the connection free from solder, from the front, place the wire into the hole. Then turn the board over and on the back, heat the pad and the wire together with a soldering iron and add solder. With the LED power connection soldered, connect the switch and the USB cable to the board. Once the joystick encoder is plugged into a PC, the LED in the switch will be illuminated. To add a momentary toggle switch, solder the ends of the wires or crimp on new terminals and connect. Then simply plug the completed wiring into a free spot on the joystick encoder. With these various options, we can configure a key ignition starter, a toggle switch for ignition on-off, and an engine start-stop push button to a button box or simulator setup.